Hi everyone, uh, in today's video uh, we are going to continue building the application uh, in this section. In the previous section we added the uh, button navigation uh, menu and so in this section we are going to build the home screen uh, in which we are going to use uh, grid layout in car view. So let's get started. Uh, first, uh, a reminder, uh, go into um, the Gradle at the app level and you need to add the car view dependencies and also support design dependencies. Uh, next, I'm going to go into the rest folder and I'm going to expand layout and I'm going to expand drawable because I'm going to be using a lot of different um, icons. Uh, basically what I did, I right click on drawable and I added a bunch of um, vector um, images. So right click on drawable new and go into a vector asset and you can add whatever um, icons or images you want. So I have all my images here uh, for the background. I'm using a PNG image, which I created in GIMP. I gave it a header of uh, red. So going inside active, actually going inside fragment underscore home dot XML. I'm going to go into text. And uh, so for the, um, I'm going to remove this text view, which I don't need. And I want to create a linear layout. And uh, for um, for width, I'm going to say match parent. And for height, I'm going to also say match parent. And um, I want to add an orientation here. And I'm going to set it to vertical. And uh, also I want to set the weight sum to 10. And uh, that's about it. And next I want to add a relative layout. And uh, I'm going to set the weight, actually the, uh, the width, I'm going to set it to match parent. And the height, I'm going to set it to zero DP. And I'm going to set the weight of two. And I'm going to give it a background. And I'm going to say color, color primary. Here I'm going to create a text view. And I'm going to set this one to wrap content and wrap content. For the ID, I'm going to set it to, let's say, um, text grid, or actually header text. And um, I am going to center in parent. Of course, this needs to be layout. And I'm going to set it to true font family. And I'm going to use sans serif. And for text, I want to say string um, app name which is going to be the name of my application. And then for text color, I'm going to say Android and text size 34 SP. All right, so right outside the relative layout tag, I'm going to open a grid layout. And uh, I'm going to set it to match parent for the width. For the width. And for the height, I'm going to set it to zero DP. And I'm going to give it a weight. Of 
of 8. And um, we'll say padding. That's going to be 14 dp. See if I can increase this. Okay, here we go. And so padding is going to be 14 dp. And I'm going to give an ID. of home grid and I'm going to set the column count to 2 and the row count to 4 all right so inside the grid layer I'm going to start creating the car view so I'm going to add my first car view and I'm going to say um, layout width. I'm going to set this one to zero dp and layout height also to zero dp and layout column weight. I'm going to set it to one and layout margin bottom. I want to set it to 16 dp and uh, layout height. Actually, it should be row weight. And uh, this is also going to be one. So margin bottom 16 dp, margin left is going to be also 16 dp, and margin right sixteen dp. Car elevation. I'm going to set it to ADP in car corner radius, also ADP. Okay, so I'm going to close the tag, and inside here, I'm going to create a linear layout. So for the width, I'm going to set it to wrap content. And for the height, I'm also going to set it to wrap content. Should be content. Okay. And so I'm going to set the layout margin to 16 dp. And orientation. It's going to be vertical and layout gravity. It is going to be center horizontal. All right. And next, I need an image view. So I'm going to say image view. Layout for that is going to be wrap content and wrap content. The gravity, it is going to be um, center horizontal, and the eye and the source are going to say drawable. I see person black, okay. And uh, I am going to close this tag. And uh, next, I'm going to create a text view. Also, with wrap content and wrap content, the text is going to be fillings. I'm going to create some dummy text for now. 
the text alignment it is going to be center text color and I'm going to set it to black in text size and I'm going to set it to 18 SP in the uh, textile I'm going to set it to bold all right <clears throat> one two three all right so finally I'm going to close the tag and uh, from this point forward basically what we have to do we have to repeat this car view so I'm going to copy the car view right click and copy and I'm going to paste it that will be the, that will be the first row and I need one two three more rows so that will be six two three and uh, let's see and uh, that's the the complete um, uh, home screen with all the car views now what we need to do we need to change the icon accordingly and the text okay so that's it for the xml layout so now let's go ahead and create the code for uh, the uh, fragment I'm going to go inside in java and I'm going to expand fragments and I'm going to double click on home fragment. Okay, here I want to create two variables. So I would say private. And the one is for grid layout. I'm going to call this one grid layout. And the other one is going to be for the car views. And I'm going to call this one me uh, car view or M car view. Okay, so inside the um, onCreate view method, uh, because this is a fragment, make sure that your uh, layout is pointing to fragment home that XML layout. I want to say grid layout equals to view find view by ID. And I'm going to select the ID of the home grid, which is the grid layout. And then I need to create a, a click uh, event. So I'm going to say set click event, and I'm going to set it to grid layout. And of course, I need to implement that method here. So I'm going to say uh, click listener for car view and home uh, fragment. And, um, and I'm going to say grid layout. So here, basically what I want to do, I want to implement a for loop that is going to, every time the user clicks on a, on a car view, it's going to fire this uh, set click event and uh, what we're going to do, we're going to loop through all the uh, car views and find the ID of the specific car view that the user clicked. And um, then we're going to extract the text and uh, uh, start a, another fragment. So I'm going to say for pink i equals zero, i less than grid layout that get child count comma i plus plus so here we're going to say final car view car view equals to car view 
grid layout, get child, add, and then add, and then car view, set on click listener, final, view group, view group equals to view group car view dot get child add next I'm going to say string text equals to text view view group and that get child at I and uh, this needs to be casted get text to string uh, to uppercase and uh, this here should be a one so next I want to um, instant share the fragment so I'm going to say custom fragment which is the name of the fragment that I want to start equals new custom fragment so I'm going to use bundle uh, this is to pass any arguments into another fragment so I'm going to say args equals to new bundle args put string categories and then text custom frag that set arguments args and finally we start the fragment. So I'm going to say get fragment manager, begin transaction, add, and then and I'm going to add the uh, fragment ID and then that commit. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and run the app. And uh, as you can see, uh, we have the home screen and with the car views and the grid layout. So in the next video, we are going to complete the uh, the um, custom fragment. So when the user clicks on a on a section on a car view, we have a list of phrases uh, using a list view. And so that's it, guys. As always, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to support the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.